Before we get started, I'd like to introduce my Inkscape beginner course. Here, I'm going to explain in detail all the tools, the tool sets, and features in the Inkscape program. I'll explain what they are, how to use them, and why we use them. If you'd like to check that out, I'll have a link to that in the description. Hello everyone, it's Lori at ArdentDesigns.ca. I'm going to show you today how you can draw this rope uh, circle here in Inkscape. And um, this ribbon is done separately. I already have a tutorial for that. I just moved that over. But if you want to learn how to do that too, it's on my channel. And if I think, to, think of it, I'll put it on my, uh, I'll link in the description. So let's get started. We'll go to the squares tool and click and drag a square. Let's open up our edit objects, colors, gradients, double click it open. And right now I have a fill and a stroke. So I want the fill on the stroke. We'll come over to this tab here and X it out. We don't really need it. And then I'll just close that back up. So now this is a shape and we know that because it has a circle and two squares. Uh, make sure it's square. Uh, use this button right here that's faded out to square it up if you need to. Um, let's go to path, object to path, and then let's go to the nodes. Now you'll see that we have four nodes here. We need to round two of them up. So let's go to path, path effects, click the plus sign in the path effects editor. And Let's go to corners and I'm just going to leave everything as default. All I want to do is round this one up and keep an eye on this node when I do that because we don't want to go further than that node. Otherwise we'll get like a weird shape. So right about there. Don't let it go further than that. And we'll do the same with this one. Don't let it go further than this one. So about there. Okay, so that's the shape that we want. And we need to finalize that. So we'll go to path, object to path to finalize it. And that kicks us out of the editor. And we'll close that up. We don't need it right now. So let's click this again to get the rotation handles. And I'm going to position it approximately here. We may need to edit that after. Let's click it again to get the scaling handles. And let's make this quite small. Something like that for now. Let's go to the circle tool, click on that, press shift and control, create a nice round circle. Let's drag it over here, press shift and black, and then X. So we just want a stroke and no fill. Now this again is a shape. Let's convert it to a path by going to path, object to path. And if we look at it, we have nodes. This is a path. Okay, so relative to this object here, I think we want this to be a little bit smaller. Maybe about like that. And then we'll right click on it and go to copy. Control C also works, that you're sure shortcut. Just click copy. And then what that means is we've basically copied it to clipboard. So we will select this circle now. Let's go to path, path effects editor. And this time we're gonna look for, um, Pattern along path, pattern along path. Okay, so before we do anything, we'll go to this toggle switch here and we're gonna click repeated stretched. And then we're gonna click this button here, pattern source, link to path in clipboard. Click this button right here. Okay, so it takes copies of this and spreads it along the circle. And something to note is that when we do something to this yellow object, let me turn it a different color here. Let's turn it red so you can see it better. Okay, so I'm going to turn it and you'll see that it, it happens to this object over here. Okay, so I'm just going to put it back, Control Z. And in order to get our editor back, we need to select the object that's in the path editor. So let's select this circle object. And we need to play around with the settings here. So I'm going to click this button right here and right away we have some improvements. So we can play around with the the, um, the spacing, which is not too bad for me because probably because I have a very thick uh, stroke. So I'm just going to press minus on the spacing. And you'll see that we're, oops, okay. So we've gone too far a little bit. You see it's starting to overlap here. So let's plus it up a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good, pretty smooth. Um, there's a couple of other things I wanted to show you about about this. There's an edge sticking out there. So let's, uh, let's up that a little bit. Just look for errors. thought I saw one over there. Okay. 
And again, we can also move this and get, uh, you know, a slightly different look. Okay, um, back to this object here. If we go to the nodes tool and zoom in here, you'll see that we have this here. This is related to the width. The width says one here. If I pull this in, you see that the width changes. I'm just going to press Control Z. I don't want to play around with that too much. Um, we can also go to the fill and stroke. Go to the stroke style, choose pixels. Okay, it's at 2.6. What if I did just two or five? Okay, so I can change the width here. And I'm gonna go back to the path effects editor because now I have to change uh, the spacing. Okay. Another thing you can do is you can go back to the stroke and you can choose the round uh, round corner and round join. Although you may find that some of the edges, mine look okay, but you may find that doesn't work for you. Okay, so um, let's give it a an internal color here. Let's give it, uh, I give mine like a dirty yellow. Figure that's what rope should look like. And then when you're satisfied with whatever you've done here, you can go to path and object to path and that kicks us out of the editor i'll click x to get rid of it um, this is fully editable uh, let's see here so we we do have a stroke here we do have to finalize that stroke so we'll go path and stroke to path so everything's finalized now you can just simply ungroup it and then choose like your your black or your yellow and then just uh, you know color it whatever you want. I'm gonna go back. I think the yellow looks pretty good. So that is how you can create rope very easily in uh, Inkscape. I'll show you something else I did too. I did um, I did it with the letter L. <laughs> so you can play around and see what else you can come up with. Thanks for watching.